also topping the tent tonight. Memphians gathering in two different locations today to honor the life of Tyree Nichols. Tonight, his neighbors held a prayer vigil in Hickory Hill at the same corner where he is last seen on camera being beaten by police. And that's where we find WRG's Bria Jones. And Bria, and it was another emotional night. What are neighbors saying this evening? Greg, a very emotional night. The people here just absolutely heartbreaking. Tonight, Tyree's parents and his neighbors came out together around this makeshift memorial to pray the vigil happening underneath the Skycop camera that captured his last moments of life. Tonight, we join in as a community and we begin to pray. This makeshift memorial at Castle Gate in Bear Creek Lanes in Hickory Hill sits at the spot where the world watched Tyree Nichols turn lifeless at the hands of Memphis police officers. Oh God, reach this wall! Nichols died January 10th, three days after video footage shows him being tased, pepper sprayed, kicked in the head and pummeled with punches by police just yards away from his home. The attack happening right under this Sky Cop camera. We've been neighbors over here for five years. And to know that my son died right here was hard. Nichols' parents dismissed any rumors about connections between Nichols and the former officers indicted in his death and expressed gratitude for community support, joining their Brandywine subdivision neighbors for peaceful prayer. My son was calling out my wife's name, and we were not able to hear him to help him. Devastated. Organizer Sharita McCoy didn't know Nichols, but lives on the cove where the violent police encounter took place. We're hurting because of something that happened so foul that he did not deserve that. We're taking our money! We're taking our money! From his neighborhood to his beloved Shelby Farms, where he watched the sunset hours before he was pulled over. The message was the same for two different groups. Tyree Nichols should still be alive, living out his passions of skateboarding and watching the sunset. Let me say this. If we would have heard something, we're a tight-knit community around here. We would have ran outside. Tomorrow, Nichols' family, along with his attorneys and others who claim they've been targeted by Scorpion Unit violence, will have a press conference at the iconic Mason Temple. We'll be there, too. For now, reporting live in Hickory Hill, Bria Jones, WREG News, Channel 3.